In this video, I want to show you how you can use the stacking features within Superior Drummer 3 to create hybrid stacks of orchestral instruments using the Orchestral Percussion Library. I have the default Orchestral Percussion 1 library currently loaded. Let's use the bass drum as our main instrument and let's stack another instrument within this library to create a hybrid instrument sound. Now right off the bat, what comes to mind is adding this large taiko to the bass drum so we get the sound of both drums to create a big impactful bass drum sound. So with the bass drum selected, we'll go to more, add to center, we'll add to the center articulation. I'm gonna clear all my filters and go to the orchestral percussion one library. And within the percussion category, we have our taikos. I'll go ahead and select the large taiko and say stack on center. And we have our stack over here. So we have a new hybrid sound combining the large taiko and the bass drum. I'll play this on my MIDI keyboard. The C1 key is the center articulation for the bass drum. So that will trigger this new stack. Let's jump to the snare drum and do the same thing. We'll stack on another snare drum within this library. We'll say more add to center. And I filter down to the orchestral percussion one library. We already have the snare filter selected by default. And I want to add the Stingray marching snare. This is such a contrast from any of the other snares. It's a really good example to show you how you can stack them together for a different hybrid sound. Now to contrast it even more, let's change our instrument selection to something else. I'm gonna choose this WFL field drum. I like this because we have an old style field snare along with a modern marching snare. I really like that combination together. Let's keep going with this. Let's take this first orchestral tom and let's combine that with the high taiko. So with the tom selected, we'll say add a stack to the center. Again, I'm going to clear my filters. We'll choose orchestral percussion one. I wanna find the percussion section and there's my small taiko. We'll do stack on center. Now when I hit my tom, we have a tom and taiko combination. Let's do the same thing with the floor tom. We'll do add to center and clear filters. Select orchestral percussion one, go up to percussion. Let's add the medium taiko. And let's go once again to one of my favorite instruments in this library, this tam tam. And let's actually combine it with the gong. So we'll create a hybrid gong sound between the tam tam and the gong. We'll say more, add to, so we'll stack. And let's actually use the side articulation because this is a bigger sound and I want to stack it with one of these gongs here. So if we choose the high gong, for example, we'll stack those together. And now we have a combination of both. And hit F3 to trigger this side stack. So I really like that combination. Another option is to take one of these symbols and stack it with something else. I'll add to the edge and I'm going to take the sticks off the filter, which will bring in the piatis. I'm just going to pick one of these piatis here to combine it. Now we don't have to stop there. We could keep stacking. So I'm going to add to the edge of the symbol again. And let's add some of these unique instruments we have here, the spinning moon gong. And also we'll add the leaf gong. So now we have a stack with a normal symbol, the hand symbols, the piatti, moon gong, and the leaf gong.
Now you can hear there's quite a drastic volume difference between all of these. So this brings up something else I want to show you. What we can do with any of these stacks is manipulate them in any way we want. For example, in this stack, let's even out some of these sounds. So we'll bring down the Piotti a little bit and we'll bring up the Moon Gong and Leaf Gong quite a bit. And so now we have a really interesting, almost trashy sounding cymbal combination. And any of these could be tuned as well. Let's go back to the Tam Tam. And I noticed when we created this stack, the gong is a bit softer than the Tam Tam. So let's go ahead and address that by increasing the volume of the gong itself relative to the tam-tam. If we jump back to our tom stacks, we can make some adjustments here as well. We'll keep the volume the same, but notice there's a pitch difference. Now you may be okay with that. Or it might create some dissonance that you don't want. So we could solve that by pitching either one. Let's pitch up the Tycho to match closer to this Tom. And now we've changed the sound of our stack by adjusting the pitch of one of the stacked instruments. We could do the same thing for the floor tom if we wanted. Let's pitch down the medium Tycho to match closer to the lower concert tom. If we go back to our snare drum, we can also change any of the instruments. Let's go to the Ludwig Black Beauty. This is a nice combination because we have a medium to low pitched drum and then the high-pitched marching snare. I'm actually gonna turn that up just a little bit because I really like that combination. Let's add another stack on the same drum to a different articulation. I wanna get a nice big rim shot. So we'll have the rim shot of our Ludwig Black Beauty and of the Stingray Marching Snare. Be sure to select the rim shot articulation for the drum you're stacking. And I'm gonna increase that volume a fair amount as well. And finally, if we circle back to the bass drum, we could do any adjustments we want. Maybe we want a big, low, epic sound here. Let's lower this large Tycho. Nice, big sound. Don't forget we have different tuning algorithms we can use. So I can process using the drum head algorithm and I get a different sound, which may be preferable for that combination. In this case, I actually like it without. And finally, we've been doing this all in the default mix. Let's crank up the outrig mic and let's also add the front left right mic. Now, if I'm looking at my bleed, I always wanna make sure when I have stacks that those are enabled. What's great too is you can adjust the bleed level for each individual mic if you want. We will not do that in this case, but you can see that all of our bleed is in fact enabled. So with these stacked instruments, we'll be able to hear more of that and how their sound is impacted by the addition of more mic channels. So there's a few ways you can use the stacking feature with some of the other sound design options in Superior Drummer 3 to create hybrid 
instrument stacks within the Orchestral Percussion Expansion Library.